Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Ignite Gaming. This is part 20 of the God of War gameplay series for PC version. In the previous part, we fought Baldur for the last time and we killed him. Spoiler warning. And uh, I feel this was the end boss or the end stages of the game. Uh, this part would be us traveling to Jotunheim to uh, spread uh, phase ashes and I feel this would be the last part of uh, this series uh, so stay tuned and I hope you all enjoyed this game very much and let's continue with the final chapter I don't understand I know saving her was the right thing, but she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. All right. How did Baldur say he cost him? Odin must have convinced him to go you to Jotunheim. Okay. And he would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Can I still jump? No, but it's gone. Can't jump anymore. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Can you believe I beat Baldor without the resurrection stone? Getting better at this game. Suit yourself. Nothing to upgrade. All right, let's head to the final chapter. I guess final chapter. Finally, to your time. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Ready. Oh, right. 
got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy.
is so beautiful. I think even though Yotunarum is accessible for us, uh, for this chapter we won't be able to travel anywhere. Looks like it. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. This guy's still hearing voices. Hello? Anybody here? This place. They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Wow. People were so ruthless to giants in Midgard. One more. Odin and Thor. Ruining everything for everybody. I thought I saw one more. There's one more right here. Huh. Who's the guardian? Maybe Tyr is the guardian? now the giants came back home so they could survive but I'm not sure they did Actual caves. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened though? Why'd mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. So all the giants died. Not a single one survived, like except uh, the world serpent. with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Baldur! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a 
giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. This kid is half giant, half god. Like, that's just a story. Man. That's also him. I wanna see what's underneath there. Like, I didn't understand this picture. That up there looks like the world tree, and half of it has been destroyed. That's us escaping Helheim. Wow, okay. This story has really not disappointed. Like it's, it's been so good. They have layered it so well, and they kept the mystery all along. Like, just amazing. Not even a single hint. I like it. Look, it's mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us, leading us home. Let's finish it. How did his mother die? Has that been mentioned ever? How did she die? And aren't, aren't giants supposed to be giants? Like, this dude is so tiny he cannot even climb the mountain. Like, look at him. He's half a giant. I mean, look at Hagrid. Come on, kid. Faster. All dead giants. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here they are. Oh, are they just statues? No, they they are dead giants. Much like Tamil.
team on? The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Okay, so this little peanut is Loki? The Loki? Or just a reference to that name? I mean, is Ragnarok... Over here! Okay, what's up? Yeah, buddy, I can see that chance. Back to the question, is Ragnarok happening because of this guy? Is he playing a major role in there? I mean, what's happening? I'm so excited for Ragnarok now. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. oh. So the game ended. Story is over. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We I mean, missed it. God of War 4 and I, I stayed away from the spoilers so this was all very new for me. I just knew Ragnarok the next part was coming out and that's it.
understand if you want to go home, but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people is part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? That's nice. It's really convenient as well. So much left. What's this? Okay, that's the entrance. Boat dock. Valkyrie. I should warn you. More time has passed than you might realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? Or the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter that spanned three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Huh. Okay. So by killing Baldur, we trigger Dragnarok? I'm telling you, it's Fimblewind. I can feel it in my scrope. This is a big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason. Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winter. This one is I broken? can feel it in my scrope. Y yeah. We... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Why cannot... oh, now I can leave this place and leave that. You scare up that alchemist oh, when okay. needed finding? I just want to fast travel. the unity stone didn't I wanted to fly again yes that's a terrible pity okay tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did Odin is extremely clever you see nearly as clever as he thinks he is and he's a collector of prophecies 
If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Mimir's deal. No. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. But it's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Okay. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. What? When we wake up, it's going to be Ragnarok? See, there'd be an object to marker here. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. I guess this is the end to the game and I am super happy about finishing this game before Ragnarok came out and I'm excited and looking forward to playing Ragnarok this has been an amazing game I hope you all enjoyed this game as well and this is the final chapter in the series so this is it Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's any other game you guys would like me to play. And see you again next time.